Hello, guys. How are you? Good evening. All good. Hello, good night. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, guys. Thank you for being on time. I see a few people today. I don't know why. Probably they thought we were just going to talk about the uh, uh, introduction again. No, we're going to start the topics and we are going to get into deep into these topics, okay? Uh, I don't want to show this. I'm not sharing anything at this time. So let me see just some. Mm -mm -mm. We're here. So we were talking about the phrase adverbs. What's a phrase adverb, guys? Or it's a compound verb, okay? A verb that has different meanings using a, like a preposition or an extra word, like a two verb word, two verb words. Yes. How did you did you get some of them to start the class with, guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. Rebecca, tell me. Uh, who, you did the homework. You did the homework. What about the rest? Did I you, got it. I got it. You got the five the five uh phrasal verbs. Remember, not only to know the meaning, it's important, but also to use it. I was talking to my previous group about this nice application. For example, uh let's see. You know what a stuck up person is? stock let's look just stock okay that is a word that's a verb okay conjugate the verb el verbo es stick okay el right. participio es stock o sea stick es quedarse pegado y entonces estar stock es estar atascado pero si usted le pone un stock up o stick up miren qué significa Stick up is when you are like uh, putting something in when you're putting something more more um, obvious. For example, let's see at the translation. Like yeah, stick up, stick up. Now ese es uno. Stock up es este, miren. Stock up. Ahí está. Hay otro, otra forma de decir que alguien se, es creído. Stock up person. You're stuck up person. Que creído sos, ¿verdad? Te la crees. Stock up. Ok. So, depending on the context. Por eso les menciono. We are actually checking some of them. Pero si se fijan, aquí está cómo se pueden utilizar, ¿verdad? Ok. Cómo stick somebody up. ¿Mm? Robar a alguien. The other is stuck up, yeah, coloquial, okay, presumido, creído, right, stuck up. Um, what about um? Y aquí si se fijan aquí tengo un ejemplo. When the bullies came around, he stuck up for his little sister. Ajá, aquí está stuck up. ¿Qué significa en este caso? Defendió, ¿verdad? Se paró a defender, okay. So, it's a good way to, to learn how to use them. Aquí pueden ocupar esta. There are many, many other options, many other applications or websites you can use. But uh, this is the, war, the one that I use a lot, word reference. Okay. It's really good. They give you examples depending on the context. Dependiendo del contexto. Ahí le dice cómo utilizar las cosas. Okay. So, um, any question, guys, at this time? How's my dog? No, no one's, no one's. No one, no one. All right, I don't have any question. Miren, guys, uh, my little dog died. 
I'm really sorry, teacher, for you to uh, So sorry. I've been crying. I've been crying. I saw like, you a little bit sad. A little bit sad, yeah. I I've been I just buried him. Lo acabo uh, de enterrar and, and yeah, well before before 8 p.m. because I have a I have another class before. So yeah, I feel kind of sorry. So um but I I am I am sure I will um let me see. Um there is a not there is a verb uh, uh, uh I forgot this word. To recover from something? Pass away is like die. Pass, pass away, very good, is to die. Good, that is another, that's a good um, phrasal verb, right? Phrasal. Yeah, okay. For example, guys, do you know what get along means? Get along, no along. Forever along, no. Get along. Go, go, go. Get along. Tener buena relación. In English, to have a good relationship, <laughs> right? To yeah. have a good relation with somebody. Okay? Um. Get over. What is the meaning of get over? What do you think? Get over. Get over. Get over. Finish. Esperarlo. Tener control. Yeah, just, it, recover. Like you said, you said it, Rebecca, in Spanish. You said it, Jonel. I know you, your 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 favorite name is Jonel. You said it in Spanish. Somebody said it in English, right? To recover. Yeah, to recover. So that's another word. Get over. Okay, I will get over from that for sure. Okay, but anyways, it's a little hard because you love your you 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 love your pets, right? Yeah. They are adorable. Okay, guys. Anyways, I'm not here to, to cry or to remember that or to recall, <laughs> to recall my dog right now, but to talk about them, um, phrasal verbs. So give me just one example. I know there are many. I just asked, uh, I just will ask for one. Okay, uh, Janelle, you say you did it. Give me one example. But the ones that are kind of, wow, you know, like you you have never seen those, rel uh, those relative pronouns. Come on, those, uh, sorry, I'm kind of distracted. Phrasal verbs, okay? Give me one. With an example. Yeah. Back down. I asked back, it around. Back down. Not a, ask it around. Ask around. Okay, just give me the example. Give me the, the, the verb and tell me the and tell me the example. So the uh, rest can I guess asked about it around, the but nobody has seen my wallet. Oh, asked. Asked. I asked around. I asked around, but don't nobody found my wallet. All right. So what's the meaning? Ask many people the same question. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Nice, thank you. Uh, Francisco, you said you have another one. Tell me, Francisco. Yes, I had a uh, breakdown. Um, my TV broke down yesterday. Sure. Yeah, that means that not it's not working anymore. You can also say when the car stops and you have it on the, you have it with the mechanic it breaks down, right? My car breaks down every weekend. <laughs> okay, good example, Francisco, thank you. Let's see, another, another, another. Another example, for example, look into. All uh, right, look into. I will look into this complaint. All right, look into. What's the meaning of that? Look into this complaint. Analizar, estudiar. To analyze, to study, to discuss, to okay. Look into. What about look for? Do you have do you know about that one? Look for. Um, Don't something. say it to find mm, the opposite. You're right, Isaura. Uh-huh. 
look for is to search. To find is, is the opposite, right? You search and you like a, find. A very war. Yeah, to uh, to search, to investigate. Uh huh. Yeah. Nice. Try to keep it in English, guys. All right. It's it's good. You know the answer. You know the their meaning. But it's good if you can tell me the another word in in, in English as well. All right. So there, there's those are good examples. Good job. Another. Let's see, Nas. Okay, Nasario, you already gave me one, right? Yeah, I think so. Put off. Oh, put off. Okay. Yeah. That's a no. That's a very good one. All right. What is too good? What is? Give me the example, Nasario. Uh, put off the meeting. Who? I am going to put off the meeting because I am sick. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm going to I'm going to put off the the relationship because I'm not ready to get married. Good job, <laughs> all right. That means to postpone, right? To postpone. Yeah. Nice. And uh remember, I would like to um to mention something, guys, when we say think we actually pronounce the the th right i think everybody think let me see think think, think. think. there are think. three words because there are three words that are similar and i will write them to you here uh, on the screen do you see my screen right now yeah sure yes Okay, so for example, we have some words that some people pronounce a little different. Think, sink, ill. Uh, what is the other one? T. Think, 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 think with T, T H. Things. Thing. Oh yeah, thing. thing, uh -huh. thing. Yeah. There are three words that are very similar, but their their pronunciation are different. Example, okay, this is different because actually the K is the different, right? But the pronunciation at the beginning is the same. Think, 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 think. Everybody repeat it three times. Think, 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 think. Miren como como que fuera el perrito, yeah. Think, 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 think. Okay, repeat it. Think. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. 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 Uh -huh. think. I, exactly. I don't see everybody say it like this. Okay, think. yo veo que dicen sing. Sing, sing. Think. Think. Okay, think. y sing, think. imagínense. El otro peor, the other one, is sing. Do you know what that is? Sing. Sing. Think. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't have one. I don't have one. Okay, <laughs> but the, 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 like the 10 capital scenes, right? Right. The thing is to uh, to consider to be... um uh, To make uh, bad things? Yeah, think. no, to think... No. So tell, tell me what things mean, uh, what thing means in English. It's to analyze something, right? To be... Um, uh considering something all right consider something consider but sink is like the titanic when it goes to the deep of the water to the bottom of the bikini bikini bottom that is sink if you for example the titanic sank in the ocean okay so that means go deep in the water yeah got it Titanic sank. Eso es un verbo. Sink, sank, song. Tienen que aprenderse. Okay. The other thing is, it could be one word, a name, I'm sorry, a noun or a verb. Thing is to make something that God says not to do. Yeah. For example, stealing, killing, uh, wishing another person's things. Reading. Um, Get married, it's a thing. <laughs> no. Uh, no, come on. Actually, not getting married. It has, it no, it's a relationship, joke. Supposedly, yeah, yeah it is a it's scene a as joke. well. Don't worry. So, you know, that is not to do, not to do, uh, or not to follow the commandments. 
All right, the commandments. Well, if you believe in God, you know what I'm talking about. The commandments, right? I not to feel the command commandments. I think that's the correct word. That's the pronoun, the spelling, the commandments. But thing, it's a it's an object, right? It's an object. So there are four words that people mispronounce. So this is the one. Sink. Bárbaro. La S, ¿sí? Pero el otro es sin, sin la K. Okay, perdón, sin, como que digo, sin o con, in Spanish. In Spanish. Pero el otro es sin, le agregó la K. ¿ya? Sin. The other is think. Es otra pronunciación. ¿Se acuerdan que ya les dije? No se dice tis, se dice, no se dice tit, se dice tis. O sea, ¿lo dije a ustedes o no? Que yeah. pronunciamos la TH mal, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Entonces, o decimos TIN. TIN. Ah, ese es otro. Ese es TIN. ¿Ya? Yeah. TIN. That's a teenager. A people, a person low, um, who is younger than 18 years old. And, ok, so, think, think. Sing, think. Ting, ese, ese sí es pecado. That's a thing if you say ting, vea, porque tampoco es así. So, thing. Think. TH think. en lugar de la S, right? No es, no es think, sino que es think, all right? Eso, nada más, chicos, se los pongo ahí en el chat para que no nos, no nos confundamos con esas pronunciations, okay? Don't mispronounce those words. Excellent. So, finally, who's missing? Glenda, you were going to say one, right? Glendy, sorry, Glendy. Glendy. Yeah, Glendy. Ya ve. Yo, yo me pron... ya, ya ve cómo me corrige usted. Le digo, Glenda, no, Glendy, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ya yeah. ve. Ajá. Yeah, Glendy, tell me your example. Dress up. Uh, the oh. meaning is wear nice clothing. Okay, to dress up. Okay, to wear nice clothing. The example, what is the example? Remember, not a, only to know, not only to give me the meaning, but also how to use it in context. Uh, for example, it's a fancy restaurant, so we have to dress up. All right, accordingly, right? Good job, good job, Glendy. And Renato, you, rise, you rose your hand. You raised your Hold hand, down. sorry. Hold down. Calm down, calm down. I oh, like the song of Selena Gomez. Calm down. Uh huh? What's that? Uh, tell me the example. Uh, calm down, don't be scared. All right. That means like, take it easy, don't worry, be happy. Yes? Calm down. Okay, good. Calm to keep the calm. Mm hmm nice another let's see somebody's missing i don't i don't have any other example from debbie natty mayra mm -hmm. run away run away that's a good one because if when you say calm you know that it's calm right just calm down yeah you you know or you infer what it means because the verb is very similar but to run away give me the example mayra and you will tell me, guys, what the meaning is. In English, not Spanish. What did you run away from me? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, do you know, guys, what the meaning is? Don't say it, Mayra. Don't say it, Mayra. Uh-huh. No? No one? Run away. <laughs> It's like escape. Exactly. To escape, right? To 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 flee. Bye bye. Like uh, uh like Mr. Nuegado ran away from from Nicaragua, right? And mm -hmm. Funes as well. They mm -hmm. ran away from to Nicaragua. All right, good example. Yeah. Nice. Another hey, come on, Tisha. Come on <laughs> with the politics. 
<laughs> calm down, teacher. Calm down. You hurt me. You hurt me, teacher. Oh, come on, come on, come on, that's guys. Okay. I know. We we. I mean, that's a good way for you to understand, right? Yeah. To 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 see the examples. How and I I am sure if I say they ran away, okay, you probably didn't know, but you will. Oh, they ran away to Nicaragua. You got it instantly, right? You got it instantly. David, you raise your hand. In my example, um, yes. Yes. is to get along. It get means, along. Mm -hmm. It means to have a good relationship with someone. Okay, for example, so, mm -hmm. give me so, an example. Example, my sister gets along with all my, um, with all my classmates. Okay, glue guys, that's a very nice example. And I would like to, to tell you something because sometimes we just say, oh, she, repeat the, repeat the example, David, my sister. My sister gets along with all my classmates. Gets along, right? You are the S, you are the S, right? Yes. Yeah, that's a good, that's good, that's good, guys. Because uh, we actually say we, my, or she gets s remember third person we always change the verb yo me llevaba antes con ella pero hoy ya no me llevo uh -huh. how do you say that uh -huh. yo me llevaba antes con ella pero hoy ya no me llevo con ella uh -huh. hoy ya I, no lo hago uh -huh. Tell I, me. Used to get along. I used to get along with her okay but... i used to get along that's another way to say, but there's another word that I need. And tell, please hold on, hold on, mire, hold on, guess, como wait, yeah, hold on, wait, hold <laughs> on. Okay, wait, wait, wait a moment, David. I need the rest to tell me uh, the example. Ya, ya me lo dijo, I used to get. Okay, eso es pasado. So, how do you form the past? Thank you, David. Thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The rest. Yeah, you, I heard it. Yeah, let's go check. I heard it. I get out my door around the bank. Mm. Mm -hmm. Saco a mi perro a correr. Okay, I get out my dog. I get out my dog to run the park. Okay. Mm -hmm. But my question is this. How do you form the past? David just said it. Glendy. Got along. Got along. Entonces, no siempre voy a decir get along, get along, get along. Uh -huh. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Estamos. Hay que, hay que conjugar los verbos también. Presente, pasado y futuro. Got along. Right? Nice. That's, that's what I just wanted to point out. Point out. What is the meaning to point out? To emphasize, all right? To point out is to emphasize. I wanted to point out on that because you just, you don't use it just in, in present. You just, you can use it in present, in past, in present continuous, etc. Me estoy llevando bien con ella. Mm -hmm. Francisco. Me estoy llevando bien con la teacher. O no me está llevando bien, mejor dicho. Ajá, ajá. Siempre el get along, ¿ok? Get. I get in. Uh, I get in along. Uh, with my teacher. Así. I get in along with the teacher. Vamos, por ahí vamos. I am. Muy bien, Glendy. Mire usted, sí que se puede todos los tiempos de, lo, de, los, de los verbos, ¿verdad? Aquí les faltó, aquí nada más. ¿Qué les faltó, guys? Glendy, Glendy. Am. El am. Ah, el I am, ¿verdad? I am getting along with the teacher. O sea, ese es un present continuous. ¿Ok? Yes. ¿Estaba llevándome bien con la teacher? I got along. Estaba llevándome bien. I was. Ajá, I was. very good. Vean qué fácil es, chicos. <risa> es bien fácil los, 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 usar los verbos siempre y cuando sepamos cómo estructurarlos, ¿verdad? Ya algún momento vamos a hacer como un repaso, tal vez, cuando tengamos tiempo de que el presente, que pasado, que futuro y todo eso, ¿ok? 
Very good. So, somebody's missing. No? No hay nadie que me falte. Yo, teacher. All me. right, Natalie, tell me your example. Uh, reach out. Without? Contact someone. Give me the example. Uh, the example, I'll reach out to my mom to see when she will, she will arrive. Okay. Repeat, please. Reach out. Did you say reach out? Reach out. That is to? Contact someone. Ah, to contact someone. Okay. Repeat the example. I'm going to write it for the rest. Okay. I will reach out. I will, I will reach out my mom to see when she will arrive. Ayúdeme, Glendy, help me. Vamos a ver. Hay algo aquí que podríamos cambiar para que suene mucho mejor. There is something that we can modify to make it better. If you want, did you find this example or you created by your own? Luisa está solita, Natalie. Yes. Eh, aplauso entonces. Mire, qué bueno, porque ya les dije, ¿verdad? Acá... Acá podemos ver en el, en el, en el dictionary, el, el que les mostré, en el word reference, hay ejemplos de cómo hacerlos. Pero, obvio, qué bonito cuando lo hacemos por nuestra propia cuenta. ¿Por qué? Fíjese, lo que usted quiere decir que yo voy a... Ay, Dios mío, se me borró esto. Yo voy a contactar a mi mamá. No. ¿Sí? Para ver cuando ella venga. Algo así. Oh, uh, say it in Spanish. Tell me in Spanish. ¿Cómo, cómo le quedaría en español? Tell me. Natalie. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que quería But... decir ahí? Yo voy a contactar a mi mamá. Ajá, para verla cuando ella, cuando ella llegue. Ajá, ok, algo así. para no. verla cuando venga o cuando llegue. Ajá, vaya. Entonces, that's what I wanted to point out. Otra cosa que quería resaltar es esto. Point, um, when I say, I will, yo voy a, whatever, lo que sea que va a decir. I will see my mom. Lo vamos a hacer más fácil. I will contact my mom. I will reach out. I will reach out my mom. Aunque estoy hablando en futuro, digo así. When she comes. Cuando ella venga. ¿Ok? Siempre que hablo una cláusula o una pequeña, una oración en futuro... La otra digo, ok, yo haré esto cuando, cuando haga esto. Siempre que use when y ya ocupe will, o sea, en, en, pasa, en futuro, en este caso will, I will reach out my mom when she comes. Ocupo un simple present. Ahí ocupo un simple present para decir, oh, when she comes. Ya no uso nuevamente will, ok? Ya. Así es lo correcto, ok? No se dice when she will come. No, when she comes, cuando venga. Y aquí uso futuro, pero aquí uso presente. Y lo mismo quiero decir. Yo la voy a ver, yo la voy a contactar cuando ella venga. ¿Sí? Cuando ella venga. No dice cuando ella va, va, va a venir. No. Cuando ella venga. Si se fija, incluso en español también lo decimos como la contactaré cuando ella venga. ¿Sí? Venga. Sí se usa un presente. ¿Ok? Vaya, guys. Vamos a ver quiénes están en la clase de verdad. Um, have here who was not in the class yesterday. ¿Quiénes no estuvieron en la clase ayer? Who wasn't in the class? Me, who's, teacher. Who's new? Okay, Ana Silvia. Todos yes. nos presentamos ayer y todos dijimos mm -hmm. que íbamos a tener la cámara encendida, ¿verdad? 
Entonces, eh, it's, time, it's time for you to introduce yourself. Nos ayuda a presentarse, porfa, y nos ayuda con la cámara, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, I am Ana Silvia Rodríguez. My name is Ana Silvia Rodríguez. Um, uh, I'm so happy because I'm, 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 I am. I'm so I happy. Am, I'm so happy. Uh, this opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Yes, only that. Only that, all right. <laughs> so we have Senia y Evelyn. Ayer no solo estuvieron escuchando y estamos en las mismas ahorita. Are you there, guys, or not? Yes, I am here. Okay, what happens to your camera, Senia? Teacher, I am wearing pyjamas. Okay. So maybe you could be sleeping. Remember, no. guys, hay que, hay que respetar la clase, chicos. ¿Ok? No. Créanme que yo lo que hago es hacer un reporte de los que de verdad estamos poniendo atención, estamos trabajando duro para aprender inglés y no que vamos avanzando, avanzado, que después vamos a preavanzado, que después vamos a no sé qué y ni siquiera participamos en clases, así que no es justo de los que los que sí están poniendo de su parte, de los que solo están queriéndose dormir, ¿verdad? Yo creo que eso no es justo, Senia, hay que respetar la clase, ¿ok? Evelyn. Uh -huh. Sí, si no quiere estar en la clase o quiere dormir, pues entendemos, ¿verdad? Pero pues acá nos está eh, pues distrayendo a las demás porque yo estoy hablando con usted que no está interesada en la clase obviamente y los demás sí. Ok, Evelyn, are you there or not? Uh, yes, I'm here, uh, teacher. I hear, escucho, I, I hear. hear, I hear. I, I hear, sí. I hear, uh, I, yo oigo. No, sí. no, no es mi pregunta si oye o, 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 o si es, o, mi pregunta es si are you there? Sí, aquí estoy. No, en in inglés. En inglés. Uh, yes, I hear. Yo oigo, me dice ahí. Nah. I hear. ¿Cómo se dice, Ana Silvia? I'm here. I'm here, ya ven. I'm ¿Por qué here. les digo yo? Mire, es que ni siquiera lo puedo ver, pero lo escucho, pero cuando no las veo, cuando todos están hablando, yo veo que dice I hear. En lugar de decir, I'm here, y cerramos la boca. ¿Qué pasa con la cámara, eh, Evelyn? Eh, pues no me funciona, se ve súper oscuro. Entonces ya eso, ya lo, ya lo saben las personas de, de, de la académica. Ok. Entonces, ajá. Bueno, es eh, que ayer no me contestó. Entonces yo sí, no lo pero... sabía. Ajá, sí. por eso le digo, estamos o no estamos en la clase, ¿verdad? Por eso es sí, que sí, pregunto. Renato. Yes, teacher. Eh, yo tengo un problema porque mi dispositivo me lo botó el niño más pequeño, entonces la cámara no me funciona. Vaya, ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Pero estoy participando. No porque estoy, no, exactly, ya, ya lo escuché, fue el de los primeros que me dio su ejemplo. Entonces, Senia, ¿verdad? Todos están en la clase, menos en pijama durmiendo, ¿verdad? Así que pongámonos no, en, en pongámonos, teacher. pues no, pero en pijama, ay, como, oh, guys, <risa> bueno, yo no veo en pijamas a los demás. Cuando usted está en pijamas, está queriendo sí, dormir y no va a aprender. Trabajo, estoy cómoda, pues, o sea. Ok. Bueno, pero así, así no, por lo menos de, debería estar como un poquito más activa en la clase, ¿verdad? Anyways, eh, no se escucha bien, dice. Ok, Evelyn, no problem. Eh, ah, now I am aware about. Pero fíjese, I hear me dice, no, I'm here. Si se fijan, guys, son cosas de las que yo les estoy diciendo cuando ustedes pronuncian bien o no, I hear, no, I'm here. Aunque no los ve, aunque no los escuche, yo los puedo ver, ¿ok? Así que no, no les quiero quitar, el, eh, no, les, no les quiero hacer dormir, ¿verdad, chicos? Yo sé que alguien está en pijamas por ahí. Ya les dio sueño, pero no. Sigamos, sigamos, sigamos. Come on. Uh, so, nice to meet you, Silvia. Where, where do you live? I, I live in the Ciudad de Merliot, Santa Tecla. In Merliot as well. All right. Uh, yes. Nice. And what happened yesterday to you? 
Es que no se conectó la teacher el lunes, va a decir. Por eso no me conecté ayer. No, no, teacher. Realmente se me olvidó. I forget it. I forget. I forget. ¿Lo, lo yeah. olvido o lo olvidé? I forget. I forget, I forgot, forgot. I forgot, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. very good, miren yes. chicos, si se fijan, si uno no dice las cosas, mejor no digo nada para que no me corrija la teacher, no, acuérdense de que de, de, los, de los errores aprendemos, ¿verdad? Así que los, los verbos en pasado chicos, si hablamos de ayer, en pasado, ok, alguien más, somebody else wants to give me examples, vaya, eh, mejor se fue a dormir. Está bien, Senia. Sí, sí, a dormir. Ajá. Example. Yes, yes, tell me the example. Um, Isabel, back yes. down. Back down. She, she never backs down with her ideas. Ok. The idea, the idea is strong. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, to back down means to... In English. Anybody? To retract, right? To retract? Yeah? Nice. Good job, guys. Excellent. Thank you, guys. I know you're, you're, you feel a little bored, but we'll continue with this, okay? We just watched this video already, so we're going to continue with the lesson objective. In this lesson, you will practice using two-part verbs that it's the same like the phrasal verb that I was mentioning, In this lesson, you will practice using two part verb, two per verbs to make requests. Help me read, uh, Renato. Yes, teacher. Read the instructions. The objective, sorry. Objective. Uh, in this lesson, you will practice using two part verbs to make requests. Yes, yes, good job. Thank you. Um, so, for example, Let's watch the video too. We'll find... You will tell me example, guys. Just watch the video. Have you watched the video already? Yes, teacher. Example. Um, ah, yes, I will put it down. No, I will not put it down. Okay, just watch the video, please. And then we discuss it. Who's Kenya? Kenya, you were not here in the class yesterday. Are you a student? Or you're from yes, India? Teacher. Hello? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Why don't you turn on the camera? Eh, no me sirve mucho la cámara. In English, in English, come on, guys. Ustedes ya van a ir avanzado. <laughs> mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice mi cámara se arruinó, Francisco? My uh, breakdown, my camera break, breakdown. In past? Broke down. Broke down. Very good. My camera broke down. ¿Por qué se arruinó? I don't know why. I don't know what happens, but my camera doesn't work. No funciona. It broke down. Se arruinó. Yeah, good job. Okay, Kenya. Um, But please be attentively, okay? Sí, se me conectó bien tarde y ayer no la vi tampoco. Where are you from? Eh, I am from Ilo Vasco. Ilo Vasco, all right. How old are you? Introduce yourself. Todos nos hemos presentado, solo ustedes falta. Hey, my name is Kenia Corbera. Uh -huh. I am from Ilo Vasco. Uh -huh. How old are you? I am 21 years old. <laughs> All right, excellent. So, um, well, I hope your camera works soon. Very good. Uh, let's watch the video, guys. Let me know if you can hear, please. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. 
with pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Okay. If you use will, normally we use it to talk about future, right? Yes, will is to talk about future. Yeah. But also when you just say, okay, when you are um, following instructions, okay? Yes, teacher, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I forgot the camera was turned on. Well, it was turned off. I will turn it down right now. I will turn it on right now. Yeah, it's like, okay, I will do this. Okay, when you make actually um, promises or responding requests, okay? You say, okay, I will do it. Yeah, I will. Also, when you promise something, I will always love you. But also, will is used to talk about or, or to respond requests. Okay, I help you. Can you help me? Yes, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. You can use will to talk about to talk that, uh, to talk about that. Who's my video freeze me? Uh, freeze, hmm, freezes. Video freezes for me. I believe um, it's your. It's your internet. But also my internet is not good. Yo veo que también yo me quedo froze ahí. Yeah. A veces me quedo un poquito ahí congelada. Sorry. But you know, the internet sometimes not working well. And I'm sorry for that. Yesterday I mentioned that we can um, separate the, the verbs, separate the two-part verbs. Uh, when we are using, oh, I need that. Salva cola, Coca Cola, Charlotte's cola, champagne. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Remember, I told you yesterday we can separate the verbs. When we are using um, example, just, well, we can use it, we can do the, the separation if we're saying um, a word or if we're mentioning a, a name, a, a noun or something. Okay. Please. Uh, put, uh, pick my daughter up tomorrow at 6 a.m. Or pick up my daughter at 6 a.m. If it's a noun, yes, you can separate it. You can divide it, right? like in here. Turn down the TV, turn it down. Or turn the TV down. Pero no puede decir tampoco, turn, uh, turn down it. Si se fijan, eh, aquí no hay nada, ¿verdad? Eso estábamos hablando ayer, ¿ok? Si es un object pronoun, ¿cuáles son los object pronouns? Me, you, she, eh, him, she, object, him, object, her, him, her, her y it, aquí tenemos el otro, us, eh, their, uh, uh, them, recógelos a ellos, pick them up, pero no digo pick up them, ¿verdad? Ahí sí no. En ese, eso es lo que estábamos hablando ayer, ¿ok? Pick up your things. Pick them up, pick them up, sorry, pick them up, pick, uh, chica. pick them up, or pick, pick up them. No, ¿verdad? No, ahí sí no. Ok, and that's it. Eso es la gran ciencia de los, de los phrasal verbs or two-part verbs. Continue. Turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is... Okay, what is the meaning of put off? No me lo diga, please don't tell me. El que me la dijo, quiero ver quien me, me, me trajo ese, ese phrasal verb. If you paid attention. What is to put off? You said it, uh, Nazario. I think you you say you put off, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so don't say that. Don't say it. Uh huh. What's the meaning, guys? Posponer. Ah, in English. Oh. Jairo, do you remember? Yes, Renato, you're right. In English, we say, yes, Ana Silvia, pause. Pause. 
postpone. Yeah, postpone. Ese es el verbo, right? Put off to postpone. Nice. This is the particle. It is also important to know the two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place, and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up. Or, the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified... Mm -hmm. Phrasal verbs are always used. Todo el tiempo van a escuchar que así hablan los americanos. Todo el tiempo. Ellos no están diciendo tanto los verbos que nosotros conocemos. They always use phrasal verbs. Ok. Identify phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another right. sentence with a pronoun. Ok, guys, ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a ver ahora. Help me con un pronombre. Ya me dijeron los ejemplos. Pero quiero que me los separen, ya sea con un nombre o con un, o con un pronombre, pronombre objeto, object pronoun, ya sabemos, me, you, him, her, it, as, and them. Uh -huh. The same examples you gave me. Todos los ejemplos que me dieron, ahorita necesito que los pongan así con el nombre. Por ejemplo, eh, you said, let me see, where is that example? I lost it. Example, you said, uh, Nazario, I will propose my marriage because I'm not ready, right? I, I will po yeah. put off, I will put off my marriage. So how do you form it using in another way? Si se fija, lo podemos separar, right? I todos so. me dijeron, todos me lo dijeron juntos. Así, por ejemplo, I will put off my marriage because I'm not ready. ¿Cómo le quedaría de la otra forma? To be more, more specific, ya los que acabamos de ver el video es lo que yo les estoy pidiendo. Ok, let me, let me give you the example para hacerlo más claro. Ignoren lo que ven ahorita arriba. Ok. I will put off my marriage. Because I'm not ready. It doesn't matter the complement. Uh -huh. So, how do you form the other way? ¿Cómo lo hace la, la otra forma? Uh -huh. No le pusieron atención. Did they pay attention? I will, I will, I will put my marriage off. 
Exactly. I will put uh, my marriage off. Oh. Oh, vaya, esa es otra forma. Aquí. Ahí está. I will put my marriage off marriage or off. I will put off my marriage. Muy bien. Eso, eso es lo que estaban hablando eh, en el video. O, oh, ¿de qué estoy hablando? De marriage. Si yo ya sé de que I will put my marriage off because uh, I'm not married. Hey, yo le digo entonces, hey, why? Yo le respondo, why will you put put it off ahí sí le puedo decir así ¿por qué? yo sé que está hablando de su de su, de su casamiento Ay, what would you put it off? ¿por qué lo vas a posponer? lo vas a posponer ya no digo what would you put your marriage off? Oh, one more time you can just say it pero tampoco puedo decir why would you put off it? vea que no ahí sí no eso es lo que estábamos hablando ayer y lo que les mencionó el video questions guys do you have questions with this? No. You want to give me an example? David? Me put off. I'm sorry? An example with put off? Put off. No, with the examples you gave me. Los ejemplos que ya me dieron antes. Porque todos me los hicieron normales. Everybody said it like normally. But as Nazario just changed it. Oh, I will put my marriage off. Ahí ya lo puso diferente. Yes, Francisco. Okay, teacher, in my example, I say my TV broke down. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the other say is the, the broke TV down. Mm, yes, but tendríamos que poner ahí el sujeto. ¿Quién quebró el... el, el... Ah, okay. El TV, ajá, y dice, eh, I broke the, sí, ahí sí, ahí no se puede, ahí no es, necesario, no es necesario separarlo, porque no tenemos un sujeto que lo, por ejemplo, my TV broke down, my broke down the TV, my TV broke down, no, ahí sería, I broke the TV down, yo lo quebré, I broke the TV down, o, I broke down the TV. O oh, I broke it down. Pero uh, sí, así broke, solo el TV. Uh -huh, tendríamos que, que tener como el, el, eh, la, el, la oración más completa. ¿Ok? Yo que ahí sí, en ese caso sí, cuando tenemos un sujeto, verbo y complemento, ahí sí es que se hace. Y cuando sí solo, my TV broke down. Mm. No, no sé cómo no sé cómo explicárselo ahí sí no 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 aplica my my broke down the TV no o sea, ahí sería my TV broke down ahí sí pero si ya pongo quién rompió la tele ahí sí digo my TV no I broke down the TV sujeto verbo objeto sujeto verbo objeto ¿ok? me explico sí ok thank you ok y entonces de la otra forma sería I broke down the TV. O I broke the TV down. Así sí. Uh -huh. Very good example. Nice. Siempre y cuando se puede separar, chicos, si ven sujeto, verbo, complemento. Sujeto, verbo, objeto. Ok. I love you. Um, I, ve, yo pospondré mi matrimonio. I postpone, I will postpone my. Por eso tengo el sujeto primero. ¿Quién lo está haciendo? El TV, sí, se, se arruinó. Ni modo, ¿verdad? Pero ahí sí no necesito separarlo, ¿ok? Ahí no, no es necesario, but si yo lo quebré, que se me cayó, I broke it down, vea. Yo lo quebré, I broke it down, ¿ok? Very good example, but yeah, tiene que llevar un sujeto. Another example, nice, Francisco, thank you. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué dice el público? This is teacher, this is like, la, like the, the structure of the phrasal verb. The structure of phrasal verb, yeah. Yeah. Esas son right. las estructuras, ¿verdad? Aquí está, ¿eh? 
No. Lo que estuvimos, lo que estaba mencionando y lo que yo les mencioné. Ah. ¿Sí? Tenemos el sujeto, si el objeto es un nombre, dice aquí, se puede poner a antes o después de la partícula. Okay. Correct. Ok. Vamos a ver otra vez. Te di entonces. Um, espérame, wait. Hold on, hold on. Ay, what happens? No, no le puedo dar. Ahorita sí. No, ¿por qué no puedo quitar esto? Your computer is tired, teacher. <laughs> bueno, no sé por qué no puedo quitar esta parte de aquí. Bien raro. Va, entonces, aquí es, aquí es lo que mencionaba, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, yo creo que it's frozen. It's frozen. Ya, yeah, si el objeto si es, es un nombre, sí, ¿verdad? Pero si es un pronombre, no. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál? Ya dijimos. It broke down it. No, ahí sí no. It, uh, I, it broke down. Se quebró. Pero ahí no, ten, no tengo como sujeto quién lo hizo y quién lo recibió. No sé si me explico. ¿Se acuerdan que en español teníamos el sujeto, el verbo y el objeto? Algo así. Que teníamos que el objeto directo, el indirecto, bla, 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 bla. bla. ¿Ok? Uh, sí. Verbs with nouns. If the object is no, a guys. noun, for sí. example, TV, no sé si car, mouse que computer, no funciona, can what? come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up. Or, the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. It's a pronoun. It can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example... Bueno, no sé qué pasa ahorita con la computer que sí se me queda congelado todo. Bueno, pero espero que eh, se haya comprendido a lo que nos referimos, ¿verdad? Cómo hacer esa separación. How to, uh, how to um, separate the phrasal verbs. Esta, it's not responding, guys. It's stuck up. Miren todo. Te quiero dar aquí y no funciona. Solo aquí. No sé qué hice. You have to restart maybe at the end maybe, of the class. Maybe, yeah. I, that's what I would do. 1.3, 1.4. Vamos a hacer el knowledge check mañana. Uh, but at the beginning, just the, read the instructions already. Look at the following pictures, then complete the request with these words. More than one answer is possible. Okay, repeat the instructions, guys. Instructions. Look at the following picture, picture. then complete the request. These words request with more than one answer. answer. Possible. 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 More than one answer is possible. Okay. Um, yeah, vamos a hacerlo mañana por el tiempo. Así que, um, vaya, solo para que vean. So, the books. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Pick up the books, please. O pick the books up. ¿Ya? Yeah? Pick. ¿Por qué? Aquí estoy dando una um, como una orden. Pick up the book. The, the, um... Ah, porque estoy dando como un command. Por ejemplo, en el caso de que usted me dijo, Francisco, vamos a escribir eso. Break down the TV. Sí se puede, sí se puede, pero cuando estoy dando como una orden. Si se fijó allá, era como un request o una petición, ¿verdad? Entonces, como que, quebrame la tele vos. Break down the TV o bring the TV down. Pero ahí estoy dando una, una, ajá, como una orden. Ahí sí, per perfectamente puede aplicar, ¿ok? Pero break down the TV... ¿De qué estoy hablando? Si le estoy dando una orden, sí. 
¿Ok? Como el ejemplo que usted me dio, sí, como una orden, yes. ¿Ok? Ok. ¡Hey! ¡Quebrame la tele! <ríe> o oh, oh, así ve. Don't break down the TV. Ahí sí. Don't. No lo hagas. ¿Verdad? Sí. Don't break down the TV. O don't break the TV down. ¿Ok? No la quebres. Nice, guys. Bueno, I hope that you... Um, if you can answer this... Si pueden contestar estas, denle. Y si no, pues mañana las terminamos, ¿ok? Y gracias por estar pendientes, por estar participando y pues por hacer su tarea también, ¿verdad? Eh, welcome, Ana Silvia. It's a pleasure to meet you as well, ¿ok? And good night, guys. Good night. Voy a visitar la computer good porque night. sí está un poquito good loca ahorita. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Guys, bye.